A Ross High School student was shot to death, according to the Butler County Sheriff. A day later, two other students are charged in his death. All three Ross High School students, according to the principal. Mm -hmm. The 18 year old student Austin Hensley was found shot yesterday evening inside a home on Hine Road. Our Jake Ryle is following the investigation and Jake, this may have been the result of a gun trade. Well, Sheriff Richard Jones certainly not holding back in that press conference a little bit earlier on today. He called the 17 year old suspect a wannabe gangster. Now we know that this was all a mix of guns, possibly drugs, even cash, and it was all a deadly combination. In Ross Township, everybody knows each other and everything. Word travels fast. I was shocked, completely shocked because I didn't expect that to happen at all. I didn't expect anything like that, especially because this town is so small. Which is why Hannah Greathouse was surprised by what happened Tuesday evening. Ross Township Police responded to Hine Road. Tell you, no good came from this transaction that was going to take place, and it ended in a tragedy. When police got there, they found 18-year-old Austin Hensley, a Ross High School student, dead. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones says Hensley and a 17-year-old suspect were there to trade guns, and at some point, the two started to fight. People don't accidentally get shot very often, not very often, but when you have people that are inexperienced but they think they're tough and they have guns and they bring guns and they think they're gangsters, usually somebody dies. The 17 year old charged with murder, aggravated robbery and tampering with evidence. Sheriff Jones wants the juvenile suspect bound over to be tried as an adult. This isn't his first time involved in the court system, but this will probably be his last time for quite some time. Another 17 year old charged with theft of a firearm. Police believe that boy stole a family gun and gave it to the murder suspect. Both 17 year olds and Hensley students at Ross High School. The school releasing a statement in part saying, quote, our hearts are broken over the events that have transpired. It later says this is a wonderful community and a great school and we will weather this storm as a family does together in quote. The school is providing students emotional support through outside agencies. Now a community left reeling. He's there and then one day you wake up and he's just gone. Gangsters end up either dead or in prison. And this is this is where we're headed with this case. And we do know that that suspect is due in court on February 12th. And at this point in time, no word on whether or not he will be bound over. But if he is, we'll be sure to keep you updated on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in Hamilton, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.